Hi guys, welcome to part three of our series on making uh, mini watercolor or art kits. Now here are two more examples. Uh, this is a small plastic container. I don't remember where I picked it up, a grocery store somewhere because I needed something to put um, some food or something in while I was traveling and moving. Um, this is a really great kit because you really don't need to do anything to it. It could be a sketching or drawing kit like the one that we made in part one. I'll link that in the description below, but it could be a watercolor kit. And literally, you could put one of these in it after you've um, taken all the art, ki the kids art paints out and put your own in. You could put a Koi watercolor brush in here. Um, you definitely have room for a pencil and um, a blending stump um, if you want to do sketching with it. Um, but um, there's a lot of room in this and you could do almost anything with it. You could put a ballpoint pen in here, that one fits. And again, that's something I picked up at a you know Kino table or something. Um, I do have these, these are actually makeup brushes. So they actually work for uh, watercolor, but the thing is that you're going to want to um, have a cup of water then, um, and that's just a little bit too big to fit in there. I forget how. Oh, this one twists. I was going to say I forget how it works. See, these don't. These are not quite. This one is nice. These are all. This is a Da Vinci brush. This is actually a paintbrush, this one. This one might fit, let's see. I think it's too big too. Oh no, that Da Vinci brush fits. So you can get like a proper water brush, but I like the Koi because you can get those and have those in there and you don't need water because the water is stored in the handle. So these are really great. You could also put pans in here. So you could glue in like we did in part two um, where we made the other kit and we glued um, the pans in. You could definitely do that. I'm gonna look for some here that, I have a bunch that have magnets on them which we're gonna use in a minute, but here we go. So you could definitely put a bunch of these in. I have a bunch of random brands they're all approximately the same size. Each brand's a little bit different. I said that in part two. But you could get more than eight colors in here and you could get these um, full, you could fill up these half pans pretty full. Yeah, look at that. You can get a lot. That's that's 15 colors. Um, so you could get 15 colors of paint in here. You could cut a dashboard to fit in here like we did in part one. Let's do that. I need my paper cutter. Okay, how big is that? <laughs> Let's see. I need a ruler. All right, so that's about two and a half by say three and three quarters. Again, this is a piece of a clear plastic piece of a report folder, but you can also use um, Dollar Tree kitchen cutting mats. They come in a clear, thin material like this. And I'm going to need to round the corners. Had to find it first. So I'm going to just use my crocodile to round the corners a bit because I think it'll fit in the box better. Yep, look at that. And then, then, so the paint is underneath, and even if the paints are a little damp when you need to close the box up, you could put a small mini journal and you could make one like we did in part one to fit in here, and then you would still have room. This is, what is this? This is a small point. Hmm. 
They also come medium and large point. But you have room for that in here. And so we've got a regular pencil, a pen, and the other thing I would like to see in here is maybe a mini Stabilo all pencil. And there's room enough in here in the lid for a journal. And look at that, that's cute. And that would totally fit um, in your handbag. Hang on one second. As I was talking, I remembered, I thought I had these. These are two mini um, custom uh, little mini notebooks that were made by my friend Shannon Green um, it, from the Buy Shannon Green face, uh, Etsy store. I'll link her store in the description below. I don't know if she still sells these little teeny tiny ones or not, but it has really nice paper in it. You could do a quick little watercolor in it and look. Fits right in there. Um, okay, so then in this other one, this is the candy tin. So this is metal, but I don't know if it's the right kind of metal for what I'm thinking. So <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know. Um, so you can um, get magnets to go on the bottom of your watercolor pans. Um, they're adhesive on one side. Now you can also buy pans with magnets on the bottom. Oh, and they do stick. Now these are more expensive than getting the plain pans and putting a magnet, um, which is a little cheaper. And these are a self-adhesive magnet. You literally just peel off the backing, stick it to the pan, and then it sticks in the case. Um, so you could, Let's see how many how many of what kind I have. Let's see. And ten colors means that you can not only get two reds, two yellows, two reds, two blues, but you have four other optional fun colors that maybe they're colors that you find yourself using a lot that you don't want to keep mixing. Uh, for me, that would probably be paint. Well, of course, paint's gray. I usually like to have the one neutral, um, but then I would probably pick a turquoise, a green, and a purple because I use those a lot and I don't always want to um, mix them. I'm just kind of wondering. Oh yeah, you can get one more in there. Or two. So 12 pans. So you would want to put whatever one you use the most in this big full pan. Maybe that's lemon yellow. Maybe that's Payne's gray, your neutral. Um, so look at that. You can get a lot in there. Now for this one, I think we also want to make a dashboard, but we need to, um, I think for this one, we need to do some fancy cutting. I need a mark making tool. It's funny that all these things on my desk, I don't have something handy. Okay, so we're gonna, do a light, light sketch here. Okay, just a really light sketch and then I'm going to take my scissors. And cut it into more of an oval shape so that it more um, accurately mimics the tin that it's going to go into. And you could do, you could put white contact paper on the back of this so that you can use it as a nice mixing palette. Um, you could cut it out of white thin white plastic or UPO. I just want to get it so that it fits in there. Oops. It's a little bit too big. It's going to make it tough to get it in and out easily, which you don't want. And I think what you would want to do is put a little tape 
a little tab on it. So let's do that. As I'm cutting it, I'm thinking, ooh, a little tab would be handy. So we're gonna just take a piece of washi tape, stick it to one side. I'm gonna make sure I'm not like this. Stick it to one side, stick it to the other side, and leave a little, like a loop. And then just do that. And then you have a little tab to get it in and out with. Yeah. Okay, and then we can put a koi water brush. We can put a pencil. And you probably have room for one of little Shannon's little notebooks. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, that's going to fit. That is no problem. So look at that. That's cute. And plus it has a ring here at the top. So if you wanted to hook it to the outside of a bag or something, you could totally do that. So that's super cute. So I'm going to sell some of these in my Etsy shop. Um, some of them may have paint in them, some may not. I don't think I'm gonna put paint in these two. You can put paint in them. Um, and these don't, these are still the way they got. I got them with the kids' paints in them. So you could take, pop these out and clean them out and put your own selection of colors in. But I will be selling these and the ones I made in the prior two videos, all or most of them in my Etsy shop. So I will have things linked in the description below if they're still for sale at the time of airing of this video. And um, I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do and how you can take your art and your supplies and what you love to do on the road with you um, when you're out and about running errands, traveling, or whatever it is you do. A case like this would also, by the way, be a cute, if you just love collage, you totally could do that. Instead of putting any of the paints in here, you could totally just put some short pens and pencils, a small mini glue stick, a little mini journal, and a few images. You totally could make this a small collage kit. So anyway, I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support the free content here on YouTube, if you will, and over on Facebook um, by using the links in my link tree in the description below. And um, that's it for right now. Don't forget to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.